Welcome to the scenic and colorful world of Shinchan. Join precocious young Shinosuke Nohara on his family. Shinchan, me and the professor on summer vacation, is based on the popular manga turned anime and has a huge Japanese following, as well as global having seen many translations. If you're unfamiliar with Shin, I guess the closest Western equivalents would be a cross between Dennis the Menace and Stewie Griffin. But how does it translate into a game? Is it a vacation worth taking or a bad trip? Well, let's find out. Strange. Some of the townsfolk look just like people back Both the manga and the game follow five-year-old Shinosuke, aka Shin, who's joined by both his parents, his sister, dog, and bumps into a few familiar faces when they go on vacation. On their way to their destination, they meet an unusual professor, who subsequently gifts them with a camera that has the ability to turn any pictures into drawings. The totally ordinary vacation turns unusual quite quickly, with the introduction of some dinosaurs and, uh... It gets stranger from there. If you're familiar with the series, there's quite a bit of dancing. And the story plays out over several days, through which you'll meet a few new characters that Shin can be inappropriate with. But here's a point of note. If you're a fan of the Japanese versions of Shin-chan, then the game's going to appeal to you quite a lot. As you'll be aware, many of the jokes relate to Japanese culture, and they just won't be understood by a Western audience. If you're a fan of the US adaption of Shin-chan, which saw a complete script rewrite and has many more crude jokes and quite a bit of swearing in it as well, this version of Shin-chan might feel a little alien to you. And I'm not referring to that. It's not to say the game isn't amusing, but the US series is so on the nose, the Japanese are much more subtle with their humour. With all of that said, the story's quite easy to follow, but it can feel a little stunted by the game's over-reliance on telling it over the number of days. Some of the best interactions are those unrelated to that main story and with some of the side cast of characters. It was classic Shin-chan when he took his dad to his favourite place and that place turned out to be the local girl he fancies. As I'm sure you can gather, the humour is on the adult side, although the subtles he means that kids could play this without ever realising what's going on. Gameplay then is an unusual mix. Once you've acquired the camera, you can take photos of different creatures that you capture using your net. The net's accessible with the bumper button, and then you use another one to swing it. If a bug or insect is flashing green, then it means you haven't captured them before. Once you scoop them up in your net, you'll take a photograph which will be added to your scrapbook. Other events will automatically be photographed and added to your book as well, and each day of vacation has a number of photographs which will be entirely optional. Now the town itself is split into a series of unusual activities. There are Essentially small mini games, things like fishing, where perplexingly there's an option to switch between a rod and a pole, and you cast out your line and, well, one button fish. Then there are the different notice boards on some of the shops. These are fetch quest style errands, sending you out to hunt around for different flora and fauna, which the shopkeeper will then purchase off you in exchange for a little pocket money. Why might you need money? Well, each day you're given a set amount of stamina. This is shown up here, and when it reaches zero, Shin's gonna pass out and wake up in his mother's worried arms. But this can be mitigated by simply eating or drinking something to keep you awake. Believe it or not, the game controls a bit like an old school Resident Evil title as far as the camera goes. With these hand-painted pre-drawn backgrounds, Shin can be moved in 360 degrees, but it is a bit tricky to figure out exactly how to get from A to B. As you move from one screen to the next, you don't know where you're gonna be facing, and there's zero in the way of mapping. A small map in the corner would have helped things massively, but it's almost like they want you to get lost. Lost. The town has other mini games like farming, which again is a single button push, and again relates to you being able to harvest crops which you can sell to stay awake because, yeah. One of the more interesting activities was a Pokemon style battle simulator where you fight the current dinosaurs you've named, don't ask. It was a reasonable distraction for a few minutes, but for me the fun of the game doesn't really come from its gameplay elements. Much like a visual novel, it's the story which ties everything together that makes it enjoyable. Particularly, as I say, if you're a fan of the Japanese Shin-chan. It's completely off the wall and the sardonic Shin-chan leads things perfectly, with each day having its own set story-based objectives. Now, although I complain slightly about the lack of a map, there is an emphasis here on trying to recreate the feeling of being five. The freedom and relaxed nature of proceedings does lend itself, I guess, more towards exploring and trying to find out what is around the next corner. At the end of each day, your family have a meal, you go to bed, and any photographs will be transferred into your sketchbook, where you can choose a piece of text to go alongside them, either a more factual, or more, shall we say, quirky, and befitting of Shinosuke's character. What does this do? Well, not a lot really, but it's a nice way of keeping the narrative coherent and rounding off each day as if you were on a summer vacation. As far as being a game goes, 
it doesn't succeed too well. But as far as adapting the Japanese crayon Shinchan, it's much more successful. It has a real whimsical lightheartedness to it, and it did manage to put a smile on my face. Just don't go in expecting a very well polished gaming experience. Story and gameplay combined scores 12 out of 20, and controls score 13 out of 20. Visually, I think Shin-chan looks amazing. I've always liked the 3D models against a hand-painted background since some of the earlier Final Fantasy titles, and this has given me some Ghibli vibes. The backdrops aren't entirely static, and the cast of characters are all so well recreated. On the audio standpoint, the Japanese voice actors do a good job, although you won't find any US English here, it's simply a subtitled overlay. <laughs> There's a great soundtrack here with some really catchy little tunes, including a particularly excellent daily dance featuring any new characters that have been met along the way. Performance wise, things are okay, font size is absolutely fine, and load times are not a problem in either docked or handheld. I understand that not everyone will enjoy the static backdrop style, but I think it works well. Visuals score 16 out of 20, and I thought they did an excellent job with the audio. That scores 18 out of 20. At £33.99 or your regional equivalent, it's not a particularly cheap game, but it could be a lot worse. You're looking at 1.4 gigabytes in terms of download length, and at a normal speed of play, I'd say about 10 to 12 hours of gameplay. The value is very much tied to your experience of Shin-chan. I know it didn't score particularly high in gameplay, but there's a story here that's absolutely worth it for fans. For everyone else though, I'd say you'd be waiting for a sale. I give value 13 out of 20. Get up to in this charming slice of life adventure. As I'm sure you've gathered, Shin-chan, me and the professor on summer vacation, the endless seven day journey, will not appeal to everyone. As far as gameplay elements, they could have done far more with the characters they've got here, but it's still a whimsical and slightly charming adventure that manages to capture the original Japanese. If that sounds like something you'd enjoy, then crack on. Make a big vacation to-do list. Are you a Shin-chan fan? And is this one that you're going to be picking up? Thanks to the publisher for the review copy and to all of you that enjoy the content. If you want to join our Discord, if you want to find some other players with like minds, then uh, there's a link to that down in the description. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!